Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Recently, I used the character Creator Tree to create an avatar. This is Buddha, Buddha in Character Creator Tree. So now I'm going to transfer this avatar into Unreal Engine to make the Buddha become the main avatar in the game, or make the Buddha become one of the NPC. And start from now, I'm going to set it first in the Character Creator Tree. I will click here. To send it to iClone first, just within a few seconds, it will load into iClone 7. Now in iClone 7, what am I going to do is, I have to make sure I have the iClone and Real Life link plugged in. This is a plugin that you must get it. If you still don't know how to install and how to set up iClone and Real Life link, I already put a, put a tutorial you can just scroll down, go to the video description, I already put a link there. So next, you must open the Unreal Engine and make sure this Unreal Engine 4.26 already completed with iClone Unreal Life Link plugin as well. Now in, in iClone 7, first in the iClone Unreal Life Link, I'm going to untick everything. Untick everything first. Next, I go back to the scene and the avatar's name, I will just press F2 to name it as Buddha01. Next, I come back to the icon Unreal Life link here, make sure I tick Buddha01 and then I click transfer file. Once I click transfer file, it will just wait for a while, it will transfer, transfer the avatar from icon to Unreal Engine. At this moment, I just need to wait until it finishes transfer. Now you can see it finished transfer. Once it finished transfer, the first thing I do is the Buddha 01 skeletons, I double click in. And you can see it, it is already humanoid. It's automatically set as a humanoid if you can see the retarget manager. Next, I, can, I will just go to the contents, go to the mannequin. I want to make make this make this Buddha to become the main avatar I go to the mannequin go to the character mesh double click the mannequin skeletons and turn on the retarget manager also make sure you select rig as a humanoid rig then you save and close next you back to the character make back to the mannequin folder double click in the animation the third person animation blueprint, you can just right click here, retarget and retarget it. Here you choose Buddha01 skeletons and click retarget. Now, you can just open and have a look. Next, you rename the third person animation blueprint here. Press F2 to rename. Add an underscore Buddha 01. Next, you go to the third person blueprint. Blueprint, you can see a third person character. You right click and duplicate it. After you duplicate it, you add an underscore behind to name it properly underscore Buddha 01. Double click in. Click the mesh, click the viewport. The skeleton mesh you choose as the Buddha Buddha 01. Next. The animation class you choose third person animation blueprint Buddha 01. And then click compile, close. You want to make the Buddha to become the main avatar, first you have to delete the mannequin in the map. You press delete. Finally, you click edit, project setting, and click maps and modes. The default avatar is under the selected game mode. Default point class, you choose the third person character, Buddha01. It will automatically save, you just need to close. And now, Try to test play the game. You can see now, the Buddha already become become the main avatar of the game. 
and you can make him to become the, the NPC as well make him to become the NPC escape okay this one you have to delete it you can just drag him out so put it here and you drag you press E and just turn it now this is the NPC already when you play now you can see the, the NPC is here all right that's all that's all for today about my Buddha's avatar in character creator 3 and the process of transfer to Andre engines to make the Buddha to become the main avatar and the NPC and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animations and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.